Guys hung in there, uh, found a way. You know, we, it wasn't always pretty, but they found a way to win a close game. And I think that was a valuable lesson in there. And, uh, you know, I just want to enjoy this one uh, today. And then tomorrow we'll work on what that lesson really was. You guys were able to get Melvin involved in the, uh, in the pass game a little bit. And obviously, he was more aggressive running the football. What, what did you see from him today? Well, when you can run the football, it kind of opens up everything else. And so we were able to slip him out into the flats and get him open. The job with the defensive ends, both early, and then obviously Melvin at the end, getting that strip set. I thought they, I thought they, I thought they played outstanding. I think they're in great condition and shape. And uh, it, it, that's just a credit to, the, to their work ethic. You know, that team went up-tempo all day, and it's hard to get pressure on the quarterback when the team's at the line of scrimmage. And those guys found the way. They got it done. Coach, was it nice after so many times where games, you lost games down the stretch to finally have it turn the other way for you? Yeah, it was nice. You know, I think that's what we, what we needed. You obviously want to kind of make a play, but like I say, Melvin Ingram did and Gordon just – can you speak to the guys' resolve down the end? I mean, so many times you guys came up short, but this time it was, it was like you guys refused to lose. Like I said, very resilient team. Very, very. I saw that in training camp. I saw it in, in OTAs. You know, this is a high character group, and they don't quit. They just keep coming and coming and coming. And even when it's not pretty, I'm just so happy that we found a way to get one, and I believe this could help us get over the hump. Can you talk about the way Gordon ran today? He seemed to run almost angry with how he was. He did. He, he, he did. He, he ran angry because I told him if it was four or more, I'm going to give it to you again. And so he ran like he wanted it again. Early on when the offense was struggling a little bit, Drew really kept the team in the game. I think he averaged over 50 yards a punt. Just talk about the job that Drew did today to, in the first half. Changing the field position, that was outstanding. And the coverage unit was good. Melvin and Joey had a big impact in terms of pass rush and, and the rest of the guys as well. What did that mean in, in this game where you – you needed to get stops and, and get off the field there towards the end. It, it, meant, it meant a lot because, you know, if you give Eli time to sit back there and pick your part, he will. And he, he felt those guys today. Hey, what do you think of the way Philip responded? Obviously that interception hurts, but then he comes down, gets the fourth quarter. You know, come Vintage Phillip. I mean, he knew he threw a knucklehead pass, and he came off in the very next series. He threw an unbelievable pass. So that's what, that's what the good ones do. The game, the game starts with the miscommunication and then the snap going out of the end. How, what would happen on that plan? It was, just, it was loud. He thought he heard go. Uh, it could have been a defensive guy saying go. I don't know, but the snap came too soon. Phillip wasn't ready for it. Coach, you talked about the ability to find a way. What do you think it was that gave you that ability to do that? Well, I think those guys made their minds up before they got on the plane that we were going to come here and win today. Bit of a different defensive look with Adrian in there. It, it, what was the thinking behind that, and is that something that you want to stick with? With who? Adrian Phillips. You know, that's, that's a package because they play so much sub that Adrian's really good in our nickel and our dime package. So teams that play that type of offense, Adrian would be on the field more. You guys went with Hayes um, today instead of Corey. Corey was an active. What was the thinking? You know, Hayes, is, uh, he can play base and he can play sub, and he does some things on special teams. And Corey's not doing as much on special teams. So it was one of those games where you didn't need a lot of linebackers up today. Anthony, what was the week like building up to this and what were some of the two or three key things that you were telling your players in order to get them ready? The week was normal. I mean, as far as the efforts, the attention to detail, the focus, we scaled back a little bit. Okay, we scaled back and we're, and we're just trying to figure out what our identity is and get good at some things. Obviously, it was a bit tough month. So, what was the energy like of the team coming off the field? What was their reactions and how did they react to obviously finally the ball? Oh, it was just nice relief, you know, just to get that first one. You know, you can win. We feel like we could have won the first four, but to actually do it, it felt, it felt really well. So by scaling back, I'm assuming on both sides of the football, do you feel like you guys can play a little faster and maybe not think as much? That's the, that's the idea. You know, you always want to go into a game with enough bullets, but you, you don't want to do too much because then guys make mistakes and they don't play as fast. And we're finding that balance right now, especially on offense.